I bring that over? I remember. That was three hours ago. But I will change that light bulb. <laughs> Mary Ellen! In here, June! <sighs> Can you believe this heat? No. This morning, I took a shower and ran out of cold water. Uh -huh. Well, I brought you another fan. Oh, bless you. I know I shouldn't butt in, Mary Ellen. But you know, your air conditioning should have been in months ago. I know, but Eddie says he can't put the air conditioner in until he puts the vents in. And he can't put the vents in until he puts the ducts in. And he can't put the ducts in until he puts the air conditioner and in. And you guys bought that. Now, come on. Wally's got to put his foot down. I know. I know. He's discussing it with him right now. Canada! 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 Quick! He snapped! Somebody shoot him! He's going to kill me! Hey, wait! You're turn! I'm asking you a question. Yes, come, on. come on, let's go in and get five. Uh, 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 I want to catch a chill. Come on, Grandma. It's 102. Summer colds are the worst kind. My air conditioner Wally. doing in Canada. Wally. Wally. Uh, smooth move, Fido. Another minute, you'd have a murder rap on your hands, and I'd sue your butt. Shut up. Where's my air conditioner? I told you, it's those whining Canucks. <sighs> First, it's acid rain, then it's tighter controls of the customs. You bought us a Canadian air conditioner? Of course not. Bulgarian. You'd be the first on your block to have communist climate control. Now, why would we want that? Hey, what are you, against glass Look, I don't want to hear any more of your stories. I want you to get in your truck, get my air conditioner, get back here and install it. You know, that's a thought. I've always wanted to fish the Great Lakes. I hear they have sturgeon there the size of Gert's mother. Honey, I'm gonna have to take care of this myself. You are? Hey, now you're talking. Here's the keys to my truck. Make sure you bring it back full. Uh, you're picking up the air conditioner. I'm going along to make sure you don't screw it up. All right. Two buddies on the open highway. The wind blowing through our hair. Just like Route 66, except in color. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Wally. Hey. Did you realize that in the old days, people had to live like this? <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, Mom said you're going to Canada with Eddie, so I got you something for the trip. Oh, thanks. It's a medical alert bracelet. <laughs> you don't like Eddie very much, do you? Oh, does it show? Look, I know I should have fired the guy a long time ago, but I can't. He's my friend. Some friend. Name one thing he's ever done for you. Name one thing he's ever done for anybody. Exactly. He's a creep. Yeah, I know, I know. He's selfish, dishonest, and completely unreliable. So why are you friends with him? Well, because he's... <laughs> he got me. <laughs> Maybe you should think about that. <laughs> You just missed the on-ramp. Yeah, I know. There's a little market a few miles down the road. They got a sale on beer. 12-pack for $3.99. Turn this truck around. Hey, I know it doesn't taste the greatest, but the alcohol content's the same. 
Are you nuts? Don't you know anything about highway safety? Look, Eddie, this isn't going to be a bastard parting of wheels. We're going up to get my air conditioner, and we're coming straight back. Nothing else. Is that clear? Boy, if I'd have wanted to ride with a stiff, I would have asked the beef to come along. <laughs> Pork ring? No, thanks. It's a new flavor. Garlic. Hey, what are you doing? You're letting the heat in here. I just put a new air conditioner in this, baby. Bulgarian? Are you kidding? That's a three dollar cigar. So that's what it costs, Lumpy. <laughs> you know they sell Cuban cigars in Canada. We could buy 12, 14 boxes, hide them in the air conditioner, take them home, we make a fortune. No. Yeah, you're right. Customs can find them. All right. We weld a secret compartment under the gas tank. They'll never look there. Eddie, we are not smuggling cigars. Stereo equipment? No. Now, look, I, I don't want to hear another word. You know, you're starting to get on my nerves. You just sit there. Where am I going to go? Not a word. Dean, the Civic Center. This is my truck we're riding in. Okay, okay, but could we find some rock and roll or something? I'd love to. But there hasn't been any decent rock and roll since Elvis discovered jelly donuts. <laughs> we sure had some great ones back then, huh? <laughs> Tutti Frutti, Great Balls of Fire, Sugar Sugar. <laughs> hey, I got one for you. There she was, just a walking down the street singing. Snapping her fingers and a shuffling her feet, singing. Hey, come on, Wally. This is a car trip. You're supposed to sing songs. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more chance. There she was, just a walking down the street, singing. <laughs> Snapping her fingers and a shuffling her feet, singing. Do a diddy diddy dum. She looked good. She looked good. She looked fine. She looked fine. She looked good. She looked fine. Then I nearly lost my mind. Before I knew it, she was walking next to me, singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do, do a diddy diddy dum. You don't even know the words. Smiling and acting just as natural as can be, singing do a diddy diddy dum diddy do. She looked. Good, she look good, she look fine. She look fine, she look good, she look fine. Whoa. Hey, Eddie, you got any more of those pork rinds? Yeah, sorry. Finished them about 20 miles ago. Hey, Wally, you ever think about hitting the open highway, leaving all the headaches behind? Job, family. Starting a whole new life. No, not really. Do you? Yeah, once in a great while. <laughs> Usually after dinner. <laughs> Come on, you don't really mean that. I don't. You've got two fine sons and a loving wife. You can't tell me that you hate your life as much as you let on. Wally, have you taken a close look at Gert lately? <laughs> Eddie, why do you always talk about Gert that way? Yeah, actually, she's not that bad. But I could have done better. You know, you didn't do too bad. And yeah, then Mary Ellen's all right. <laughs> and with her bleach blonde hair and a knockout figure. Ah, the way she used to look at me. Huh? Hey, you know the look. <laughs> I 
that, but I never would have stolen her from you. I'm not that kind of a guy. I appreciate that, Eddie. <sighs> okay, Wally. <laughs> it's just you and me and the coyotes out here. Be honest. Have you ever fooled around on the old ball and chain? Absolutely not. Eh, come on, Wally. Open up. Don't you even look at other women? <laughs> well, just because a man's on a diet doesn't mean he can't look at the menu. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> eh, of course, I'm more of a binge and purge man myself. <laughs> eh, Wally, you're all right, you know? You've stood by me through all my bad times. Eh, take this remodeling job. Any other guy would have fired me by now. You're a true friend, amigo. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Oh, and, uh, Wally, remember what I said about the pork rinds? Highway robbery. Why do I pay taxes anyway? Hey, Wally, give me a few. Ah, Wally, old boy, you're gonna thank me for this. We're gonna make some real time now. Presenting Seven's Olympic coverage, Coca-Cola. You can't beat the feeling. I just think it'd be everything, all the hard work paying off. It makes you believe in yourself and in our team. It'd be really nice to get a medal. If our heart's there at the right time, we can do anything. We're going to Barcelona with a little gold. Go, 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 there is nothing greater. Top performance demands top nutrition. That's why the Australian Institute of Sport and Kellogg developed Sustain. One last effort, Rob. A scientific balance of delicious grains, fruit and nuts. Complex carbohydrates, fiber, protein, vitamins and minerals. Controlled sugar, low fat and low salt. The fuel for lasting energy and better performance. Nice work. Kellogg Sustain keeps the energy in your day longer. Wow! Fun! Makes gushing fun! Sparkle! Minty! Sparkle! Tastes great! Fun! Wow! Makes brushing fun! Sparkle! Neil Diamond's Greatest Hits, 1966 to 1992. The ultimate Neil Diamond collection. Sweet Caroline. She got the way to move it. She got the way to move it. Everybody knows one. Play it now, play it now, play it now, my lady. Back when Rosie McNeil. Neil Diamond's 37 greatest songs and a 48 page booklet at the incredible low price of only $29.95 double CD and $22.95 double cassette. At this price, you won't find a better Neil Diamond collection. Plus, check out the music video Greatest Hits Live. Get off the interstate. Uh, it wasn't cost efficient. All the delays, the toll gates, the smokies. <laughs> Who needs it? So now we're driving down some dark back road in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, and we're flying. No radar guns out here. Doesn't matter how fast you're driving if you don't know where you're going. What are you talking about? 
Don't you remember in the scouts? I was the one that led us to that dead burrow. I know exactly where this road goes. Hey, Lord! Ah, uh, just one of those unforeseeable events. <laughs> Let me just turn this puppy around. <sighs> Pretty exciting, huh? Hey, hey, my life just flies before my eyes. Oh, yeah? Was it as boring as it is from the outside? So now we have to backtrack all the way to the interstate. How far did you drive on this tricky trail, anyway? Yeah, about 90 miles. Great. So we lost three hours. Not the way I drive. <laughs> Andy, I don't want you speeding. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about us speeding. We just ran out of gas. <laughs> See, Eddie, this is what I can't stand about you. This sums it all up. Hey, you know your morning breath ain't no bouquet of flowers either, Mildred. I'm talking about always taking shortcuts, always looking for the easy way out. I mean, everything you do is half-baked with no purpose behind it except to avoid effort. <laughs> Lighten up. And we're here. Uh, don't get too comfortable, Wally. Gas tank's on this side. <laughs> hey, Gomer. Fill it up with premium. Check under the hood. Pay the man, Wally. I gotta find the ladies' room. You mean the men's room? No, the ladies' room. This is a great opportunity for me to further expand my reputation. <laughs> you got a pin? Uh-uh. And I'm not paying for the gas either. You know, this whole ordeal is your fault. All right, all right. And I called you a friend. <laughs> Listen, we've toyed with you long enough. My partner and I are from the Bureau of Weights and Measures. And surprise, this is an inspection. Huh? Don't play dumb. We've got reports down at the office that say that these pumps are light on the gas and heavy on the cash. These pumps? No, your wife's shoes. <laughs> Look, now this truck takes 17.5 gallons exactly, and it better come out on the button. Actually, it takes 20 gallons. I love to watch these country bumpkins sweat. <laughs> Want a bite of beef jerky? There she was, just a walking down the street singing. All right, Wally, I give up. Why are you mad at me now? You really have to ask? Hey, my con was working until you wimped out and paid the guy. You think you're above it all, don't you, Eddie? You know, Beaver asked me to come up with one thing that you've ever done for me, and I couldn't do it. I can't come up with one thing that you've ever done for anybody. Oh, yeah? What are you doing? I'm doing something for somebody. You drive, Wally. I'm gonna want both my hands free. Oh. Hello there, sweet thing. Hi. How far are you going? As far as you let me. Oh, great. Oh, thanks for stopping. I thought I'd never get a ride. When I saw you out here all alone, I thought, I sure wouldn't want my daughter out on a road like that. <laughs> uh, not that I'm married or anything. <laughs> I'm Wally Cleaver, and uh, this is... Uh... Dakota. <laughs> so, uh, isn't this a pretty remote place to be hitchhiking? Oh, you're telling me. My last ride dumped me here hours ago. Thank goodness you came along. Think of us as angels of mercy. <laughs> Welcome to Cloud Nine. <laughs> so, what brings you guys out to these parts? Well, if the truth be known, we're casting agents. We're scouring the country in search of fresh new faces. Oh, really? Yeah, we're doing a big network miniseries. What's it called? <laughs> Molly's World. <laughs> Done any acting? A little. Huh? Like what? Like right now, I'm pretending to be a hitchhiker. 
Pull over. Don't do it, Wally. She's bluffing. Pull over, Wally. What are you waiting for, an engraved invitation? Over there. Okay, up against the truck. And don't try anything stupid. I think we've reached our stupid quota for the day. <laughs> Listen, Molly, you seem like a nice girl. <laughs> I'm just a poor guy who's trying to pick up an air conditioner so his family doesn't die of heat stroke. Pretty speech. What are you, a social worker? I uh, know, I'm a lawyer. <gasps> now I don't feel so bad. Give me all your cash. You too, Dakota. Come on, out with the wallets. By the way, Wally, here's that hundred bucks I owed you. So, uh, this is what you do all day? Go around robbing innocent people? Yep. Me too. I'm in construction. Okay, now the jewelry. Let's go. Watches, rings. Could I at least keep my wedding ring? Yeah. Okay, boys. Strip. You first. <laughs> now, wait just a second. You've taken our money and our watches. We've suffered the trauma and humiliation of being ordered around at gunpoint, but this is where we draw the line. You can take our material possessions, but you can't take away our dignity. You tell her, Wally. I bet that gun's not even loaded. Get a good tan today. <laughs> you know, Eddie, none of this would have happened if you'd have stayed on the interstate where they have street lights and policemen. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to blame this one on me. All right, so I'm not a good judge of character. But this isn't the worst thing that could have happened to us. <laughs> she put a gun to our heads. Yeah. Reminded me of my wedding day. <laughs> Forget it, we're stranded. We have no money, no car, no clothes. Even you wouldn't be stupid enough to pick us up. You're looking at this all wrong, Wally. First of all, my insurance company's gonna get me a brand new truck. <laughs> we'll tell them your air conditioner was in a back, they'll pony up for that too. <laughs> With any luck, we'll have enough left over to buy you some decent underwear. <laughs> a lot of good that's gonna do us, 400 miles from home without a penny in our pockets. We don't even have any pockets. Okay, okay, I think I've got it. First of all, we find us enough pop bottles to buy me some nice threads. Then the next cow town we come to, we tell them that you're jogging across country to raise money to fight the rare disease that's slowly taking your life. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> ah, you're one of a kind, Eddie. No matter what happens, you never say die, do you? That's why you love me, isn't it? <laughs> well, it sure isn't because of your legs. <laughs> A very special main event at a very special time. Adriana Exanides, Glenn Sharrick, Bruce Reed, and Betty the Brainbuster. Now we've got a system going. Whatever yes. Betty says, we'll go the other way. <laughs> Captain Agron and Marie in a very special main event at a very special time for this week only. 8.30 Friday night here on 7. Oh Lord, I've been wondering how I let you down. Oh Lord, I've been wondering how I let you down. Well, I thought I could do everything my own way. Thought that I'd be good enough to make it someday. Whoa, whoa, the writing's on the wall, Lord, 
Neil Diamond's greatest hits, 1966 to 1992, the ultimate Neil Diamond collection. Neil Diamond's 37 greatest songs and a 48-page booklet at the incredible low price of only $29.95 double CD and $22.95 double cassette. At this price, you won't find a better Neil Diamond collection. Plus, check out the music video, Greatest Hits Live. I'm begging you to lay off the boy. Tonight. Why don't you tell them the truth? A shocking secret. The boy's handling for what he did. Survivors. I told my own brother to drop dead. A family in conflict. When Justin died. You left Cameron and me as surely as if you'd walked out the door. A compelling episode of A Country Practice, 7.30 tonight. Coming up next, fun and games on Agro's Cartoon Connection, followed by classic comedy with Mr Ed. Tonight, the first State of Origin match for 1992 kicks off between New South Wales and Queensland. Seven Sport brings you all the action right after Beyond 2000 tonight. Oh, ba do 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 ba do